All right, let's learn uh, Michelle by the Beatles. Uh, we're going to learn this first section in two parts. Okay, here's the first section. Okay, so four chords there. Okay, make sure you can hear that. <clears throat> really nice little mellow uh, chords there up here on the neck. So what we're going to do first, let me just say first that we're going to use only the high three strings, the high E, the B, and the G, so the three strings closest to the floor. Now, <clears throat> the first thing we want is like this. You can see I'm using my middle, my ring finger, middle, and pointer here. Okay, I have my pointer finger on the eighth fret. So if you count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I'm right here on eight. Then on the B string, the very next string, I will have my middle finger on nine. All right, and then I'm going to have my uh, ring finger on 10 on the G string like that so it goes 8 9 10 now after you do that I'm doing this so you can see but curve those fingers so you don't mute you should get a nice little minor chord there okay what we're gonna do with our right hand is we're gonna thumb you can actually pick this with a pick but I'm gonna do it with my fingers um, you can do it with your thumb on the G string and then you're gonna take your piece fingers your middle and your pointer and and uh, hook them under the B and the E string and do those together. So you get thumb and the other two fingers. Like that. And you can use the pick if you want to. Okay, use a little more sound. So that the next thing we're going to do after that, I didn't do that right there, but... <clears throat> the next thing we're going to do is keep these two fingers right where they are, okay? Don't move your piece fingers, your pointer and your middle, but we're going to take that ring finger and go to our left. Okay, go, so go to your left, I'm going to, my, going to go to my left, and to fret 9, to where we have uh, fret 9 for the middle finger and the ring finger. So that tab there for those three fingers goes 8, 9, 9 for the E, B, G. Okay, if you're writing the tab down. And we do the same thing, thumb on the G string and then the B and the high E with the other two fingers. Mm -hmm. So we have for the first two. Now the next one feels just like a D chord. If you know what a D chord down here is, uh, feels just like that. And what we're going to do from this position, we're going to kind of flop it all around, but we're still going to use the top three strings. <clears throat> we're going to take that pointer and put it on the G string here on the seventh, I mean, I'm sorry, the eighth fret there and then I'm going to take my middle finger and I'm going to put it on the high E also on the eighth fret so I skipped the G string now on the G string I want to put my ring finger on nine so it like it's like that okay so if you go E B G you know like that it's eight nine eight or if you want to go this way it's eight nine eight as well but uh, so anyway you have that now we're going to, to uh, pick it the same way Thumb on the G string, and then the B and the high E together. So that's our third chord. So let's put that together. So, so we have one, two, three. All right, and the next one's going to be uh, all you do is take this pointer finger and move it to the left on the G string, of course, uh, to the left one fret to fret seven. And then you have your next chord, okay? So this tab would be seven, nine, eight. Okay? So let's put the first four chords together now, okay? Here we go. Here's the first one. Second one. Third one. Fourth one. Now we're ready for the second half of this riff. It's going to sound like this. Oh, I'm sorry. I did that wrong. Let me start over again and, and add that last part on. And there we have it. Okay, then the chords will start after that, uh, which we'll do in lesson two. <clears throat> but let's, uh, let's finish this up here. So we had this to begin with. 
Now we're going to have the G string on a 6 here. So put the G string with your pointer finger on a 6. Now I'm going to use the little fingers here, the pinky and the uh, ring finger here. So that's going to may maybe a little awkward for you. But what, this is what I have. I have on the high E the ring finger on 8 and I have the pinky finger on 9 on the B string. And of course the, the pointer finger is here on uh, 6 here. And I have same way. Uh, pick it the same way. The G string with the thumb and then the other two. And now that I'm going to do this. I'm gonna, it's pretty easy from here out. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have, I'm just going to use two strings and I'm going to have the high E with a 6 and the B on an 8 with the ring finger. Just like that. So I have that. Pick them both at the same time. And then I'm going to slide them both to the left two frets. And that's going to put me on four and six. And then I'm going to slide them to the left again, but only one fret this time. All right? And then the chord will start there. And the, the chord right there is a C7. So you can, uh, uh, we'll do the chords in, in lesson two, but let's do this, the, the whole riff now so you can, can hear it all together. So here's the first chord, second one, third one, fourth one, and here's the second half of the riff. Oops, sorry. Three, five there. Okay, I'll reshot that. Actually, I had learned this in a different key and I had to relearn it right before I did this lesson. Uh, <clears throat> so it feels a little different. I had learned it lower in D minor, but it's actually in this key here. Uh, so, F minor is what we have. I had learned it in a D minor, so that was incorrect, but it is an F minor here. The second half. There, I did it. I'm just going to end on that <laughs> since I did it right that last time. Uh, and then we'll do the chord.